Well, there is a growing concern tonight about something you may be drinking every single day. But you know, many people do not know what's really in those very popular energy drinks they thought would just give them a caffeine kick. Our Nipe reporter Jen Renovich tonight with the energy, energy drink emergencies that have doctors so very worried. We've all had the feeling you're in a fog and need a caffeine fix to bring the day into focus. Years ago, you'd reach for coffee, maybe a soda, but make no mistake, we now live in the age of energy drinks. Brightly colored beverages in flashy packaging with names like Amp, Monster, and Rockstar. They're everywhere you turn, right up at the register, advertised all over TV. The world of Red Bull. There's even this product sold online that comes with a syringe to drop pure caffeine in your cup. Popular and powerful, energy drinks promise to keep you awake and alert as a lot of people hook. I'm in college. I stay up late. During the day, I was drinking about three or four. I work about 60 hours a week, about two, three energy drinks a day. But as our love of energy drinks grows, so do the concerns about safety, their contents, their consequences, their risks to your health. But the kids, I think they see it as glamorous. I don't think they see them. The negative of it. Um, and I didn't until I actually witnessed it and it happened to me. This was the EKG. A serious scare. Blake Montgomery's doctors blame on energy drinks. The 39 year old was on the road when it happened. And all of a sudden just had for a split second blacked out. Heart was racing, chest was super super tight and just was sweating profusely. Luckily I was got to the emergency room fast enough. They told me I was having a heart attack at 255 beats a minute, and come to find out it was all caffeine induced. The day of his heart attack, Blake had downed two cups of coffee, a half cup of Mountain Dew, and two large monster energy drinks. You read abnormal ECG. This was your body's reaction to that caffeine. Scary. My heart was uh, felt like it was beating out of my chest. 22 year old college you student Jessica Troxel ended up in the ER too. They kept asking me, what, did you drink anything? I said, well, I had a few amps, you know, during the week. And they go, well, your heart's going to explode if you keep drinking them. Jessica and Blake certainly aren't alone, and the statistics are startling. Energy drink related ER visits doubled in recent years from 10,000 to more than 20,000. The FDA is looking into several deaths associated with the drinks, and it has a long list of reported complaints from dizziness and tremors to convulsions and cardiac arrest. Energy drink companies maintain their products are safe, but Dr. James Mowry of the Indiana Poison Center says the danger with these drinks is the dose. You're getting oh, 150, 200, 300 milligrams of caffeine in a single serving. Um, and so it's enough to cause overstimulation. It's, very, it's, it's not a surprise to us that we're seeing more problems with it. This is just liquid caffeine. Dietitians recommend no more than 400 milligrams of caffeine in an entire day. A typical cup of coffee has about 90 milligrams. A cup of tea, 50. A can of pop can't have more than 65. But energy drinks? Brands vary from 150 to more than 300 milligrams of caffeine. And many include more than one serving in each can. And they go ahead and drink the whole thing. Um, they're already going to get over half of the 400 milligrams of caffeine a day in just that one shot. Plus, check this out. There are actually more sources of caffeine hidden in the other ingredients. So it can be tough to tell just how much of a jolt you're getting with these. Yohimbean, which is a stimulant. Um, he also has uh, uh, yerba mate, which, is, which has caffeine in it. You're going to get at least 300 milligrams of caffeine from drinking one of these and probably more than that. Is that safe? No, it's not safe. Some cans don't list caffeine content at all, and they don't have to. Energy drinks are considered dietary supplements, so they're not regulated by the FDA. Dietitians, consumer groups, and people like Blake Montgomery are pushing for change. Maybe the FDA needs to get involved and look at doing some kind of regulations on these. I mean, if this did it to me at age 39, I can't imagine what it's doing to these kids that are getting hooked onto it when they're 14, 15, 16. But now I don't even drink them. Like, I just, I can't do it. No more. Ever since that day, I've completely cut out caffeine completely. If you can't do that, check the labels, research the ingredients, and limit your amount. Or doctors say you just might want to stick with a classic cup of joe. 
Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now, in fact, just this week, Monster Energy Drink here announced it is now changing its labeling and will now list nutrition facts rather than supplement facts. The company also plans to disclose the caffeine content inside, which means we'll now have to follow FDA rules. Well, I don't know if it's an energy drink. Maybe it's hot chocolate that we're going to need tomorrow. Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's a perfect energy drink. Or a yes. hot toddy. <laughs> I'm not the same, you know.